So today we're going to be replacing the head gasket. This is a BMW 540i. Um, also going to re be rebuilding the Vios timing gears and changing out the valley pan cover. So there's a lot of work here that we're going to do, but some of it is maintenance, some of it needs to be done. The valley pan cover, if I'm going this far, I'm figuring I better just change it because it's never been done before. So first thing is you got to unplug everything. You see I've already took the liberty of unplugging things. Um, BMW does a good job of making their plugs so they'll only go in one place. So you don't have to worry too much about getting them mixed up. So all your plugs, your water, your water heater, there's a plug down here to your vacuum line. You pull your vacuum line off that goes to your intake manifold. Everything like that unplug. Then you got five bolts. Um, of course you have your cap pieces on here that hold your cover. You take that off and you take your five bolts out and the fuel rail come loose, okay? You have to take out your coil packs. So you've got two nuts on each coil pack, number 10 nuts. You take all those out on one side, take them all out on the other side. And your fuel line, as mine has, I've seen different ones, these nice little push pins. You push the pin in and wiggle it and it'll come off. Um, take your fuel line loose. And then if you look in the back where your wire goes through, you have these metal clips. Now I, I do on this one, but some of them are different. And if you make this a little bit loose, um, this piece will clear it. Then the whole thing will pretty much lift out of there and come up. Now you have to, of course, take the coil packs out of the holes before they're gonna, before it's gonna come up. And this whole thing will flip over. And I will show you. Now, after you do that, you want to take your fan off, which I already have the bl the uh, blade and clutch. Take your hoses off. Of course, these are just pull clips if you've never done it before. Take your alternator hose loose and all your hoses off. Um, and we're going to take the fan shroud out. Now, that's basically just to give you more room. So, when you take your fan shroud off, what you have to do is you have to pop this little thing off and get your thing out here. Now, you see mine's got a clamp on it. If it's still factory, it has a squeeze clamp on it. You just kind of get to get it, get it off and you can put a hose clamp back when you put it back together. There's also a hose down there and a plug down on your fan shroud. So we're going to take all that loose. We're going to flip our thing over and you will see next how we, what we do after that. Okay, as you can see, that thing flips right up out of the way, and we got clear view to our intake manifold. Now, in the back, there's a couple hoses. There's one that goes here to your brake line, just yank that off. Then it's got two of these, you'll see little yellow plastic clip, clips with hoses in them. You, you just slide the clip back, yank the hoses out. There's two of them back there. And then there is... Uh, once you take all your nuts off for your intake and these little spacers just come right out. I pull them out ahead of time rather than have them fall out and get lost. Then there is a tube back here right down. If you look right down in the front, left side, driver's side, there's a tube. And what you got to do is you take a little screwdriver and pry back on it. And it's got a spring in the back. You'll see, I'll show you once I get it off. But that pops out, and then the intake manifold is basically loose. So I'm gonna go ahead and take it out of there and I'll show you how that spring goes and we'll move on to the next thing. Okay, so this is the part that I was talking about. This just has a spring on one end, and it just, you know, it'll, it'll spring on there. 
but this part clips in you'll see where it clips in now this little piece of rubber right here rubber hose is famous for cracking and breaking and it'll throw emission codes um, so it might be something worth if you're going this far just go ahead and stick a new piece of hose on it so anyway that's the intake man thing then we gotta take the valve covers off now of course this is a you should have already removed your battery power if you didn't do so because <laughs> you don't want to short everything out uh, you have your battery jump start thing here and there's three bolts in the front for your valve cover your bolts down here for your valve cover um, it's also time to think about what you want to do as far as you know it's time to put gaskets it's time to do this I mean you got a lot of this engine taken apart you can get to your rear uh, heater hoses if you'd like to replace them um, anything like that you know hey just you know for the if you're talking about small money you know just go ahead and do it anyway so we're gonna take this valve cover off and then what we're going to do is we're going to flip that back over this way and we're going to take the other valve cover off now we have to take both of them off for the timing and you'll see how that works out but at any rate we're going to do that next and then we'll move on so with the fuel rail flip back over we took off this valve side cover next thing we got to do with that fuel rail out of the way if you can see right here there's a chain tensioner and it's got one bolt that goes up underneath here we'll go ahead and take that out while we can still get to it um, then we're going to go ahead and remove all our hoses uh, I still got my hoses on here Now we do have to take the water pump off for this so you have a crossover tube here that's got one bolt down here on this side of the head and right here by your pollution thing there's another bolt right down there so you take those three bolts out and this um, crossover tube will come out now you just wiggle it out easy don't bend it or it'll be a pain in the ass to get back in um, next thing we got to do is completely remove our chain tensioner uh, chain tensioner, a belt tensioner um, there's three two screws for your adjustment one in the center so we have to take that out completely to get to our water pump bolts. So go ahead and remove that and take those other things loose and we'll move on to what's next. Okay, so I got my chain tensioner out, my crossover pollution tube is out, secondary air tube is out. Uh, I got my idler pulley off, this is where it went. Um, all my hoses are gone. Now there's one hose here that plugs in the bottom of your water pump. You need to remove that. So the next thing we're going to do is take the water pump off and the front covers. So I find it easier to go ahead and take the pulley off first. And then you have a bolt in the center, bolts around the outside. And if you wiggle it back and forth, it'll come off of these tubes. Um, now, it... Uh, if you're going this far, if you've never changed your water pump, it may be a good time to just go ahead and stick a new one on there. And all these things, like inside here, there's rubber O-rings um, that should be replaced when you're going this far. Uh, so you kind of need that stuff. But anyway, I mean, it's up to you, but, you know, get all the gaskets you need ahead of time. You won't be sitting here two or three days waiting for to come in because you can only get this kind of stuff at BMW or internet I mean regular auto parts store can get it but usually it's a long wait so then we're going to take our front covers off now there's just three bolts on each side and there's two here for these gaskets that go on your VIOS adjusters you just take a pick and pick at it right back here after you take the two screws out and that will slide off the front so once you do that you got your water pump off and then you can go ahead and take the cover off and we're just going to repeat and do the same thing on the other side the only difference is here you have a dipstick everything else is pretty much the same uh, you got your two screws and it should slide off we have to get the water pump out of the way first. 
So that's what we're going to do next. We're going to take the water pump off. And we're going to take the two front covers off. So next thing we want to do is we want to remove the oilers, these top bars here. Now if you look down, there's a slotted piece here. And there's one on the exhaust cam as well. Now, you want to tie your chain up, okay? And the reason is so it doesn't fall down inside. If it falls down inside, you got to tear the whole bottom end apart. So, take some tie wire or something and tie up your chain so it doesn't fall down inside. So, we're going to take the oilers off and then we're going to put a backup wrench on the camshaft but well, we're actually going to do the intake camshaft so we're going to put a backup wrench on back here and then we got a star bit up front and we will be turning this clockwise now this is a t55 bit goes in there but they're counterclockwise bolts so you're going to be turning it clockwise to loosen it you're going to loosen both of these so we take both oilers off and loosen both of the Vios gears. And like I say, tie your chain up. Don't take it completely off yet. Wait for that, but just loosen them. So we're gonna do that next.